Okay, so Super, Super Mario, I wanted to read this to you real quick. Uh -huh. So, uh, someone named Williams, William Shea says, Stop clicking on this guy's channel, people. Instigates dog fights for online clout. So, do you think I instigate dog fights? You instigate people. Yeah. <laughs> people fights? Because okay. Of what you put on. Hand, okay, so I have been, I have been eyeing, you know, a couple of fights between people here. So. Who's fighting? So. No, somebody well, says I. Left corner, we somebody got says I instigate. You said? Yeah. Somebody <laughs> says I instigate dog fights for the online cloud. <laughs> So anyway, Super Mario, Super Mario shook his head no. So, since you guys can't hear that head shaking, but he says no. So yeah, uh, William Shea, I have no idea how I would achieve that, instigating the dog fights for online clout. So. So yeah, but I mean, obviously, <laughs> William Shea, you don't have to watch, but I don't know why you're telling other people to stop watching. You know, people, you know, people can make up their own minds. So, but I do appreciate everyone who watches. And William Shea, I appreciate you uh, clicking on the video to watch it in the first place. But, but yeah, I just don't understand why you would tell other people not to watch. So. And I have no idea, I have no idea how I would instigate dog fights for online clout because believe it or not, whether I have this uh, camera on or not, the dogs still behave the same way. So if the camera is off and there's a fight, guess what? Those dogs were going to fight anyway. If I happen to have the camera on and they fight, then, you know, that's something that was going to happen. But if I can, if possible, I'm actually going to stop a fight if I can, or try to prevent it in the first place. So, but William Shea, thank you for expressing your opinion. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I actually, well, the dogs aren't doing too much right now, but I actually have a, a few people, or a couple of people who said some interesting things that weren't of the nice variety. Another person named Isern Regalis says, To be quite honest, you do have the most irritating of voices. Announcing to anyone who will listen how you have a taser in your pocket, just itching to taser someone's dog. Sheesh. So, yeah, I have the most irritating of voices. Okay, I, you know what, I won't disagree. Okay, you can say that my voice is irritating, but the most irritating out of all voices? I don't know, that's, uh, that would be a pretty, pretty big accomplishment, so. Bodhi! All right, let's see if Bodhi will play. Earlier he was just in the golfers, but. Let's see. All right, Bodhi. Hey, Shh. come on. No, no. Hey, Shh. sit. No, sit. Ready? You want the ball? You want it? You want it? Get it. Good boy. Good boy. Bodie, no, no, hey, come on, no, I wasn't saying move from one hole to another, come on Bodie, let's go, this way, this way, come on, come on Bodie, come on Bodie, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on Bodie, come on, 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 there you go, good boy, aw, you dropped it Bodie, all right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Ha! Ah, I got it. Oh. Okay. 
See if I can take it from you again. Ready? 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 Ha! Ready? Ready? Hey, your paw's in the way. Your paw's in the way. Ready? Ah! There you go. Good boy. Good boy. All right, it's all yours. Bodie. Bodie, you ready? You ready? Bodie, come on. Bodie, come on. Let's go. No. Hmm. Never seen that dog before. Bodie. Come on. Come on, Bodie. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I just think that maybe Bodie's not in a playing mood right now. Yeah, maybe I'll pause the video and check back later. But the thing is, is that it's going to get dark out here pretty fast. Bodie, hey! So yeah, so he's trying to sneak over there and get the golfers again. Yeah, Bodie, I have your favorite toy. I have your favorite toy, Bodie. Hey, no, no. Bodie, ready? Ready? Hey, no. 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 Ready? 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 Get it. Hey, no. No. like the, the second or third time that you crossed over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, he gets bored over here and then he wants to go to the other side? Yeah. Oh, I see. Does he like playing with small dogs or what? So when he was homeless, his uh, best friend was a large chihuahua. Oh, really? Yeah. So he was actually running the streets with a chihuahua? No, so, so uh, where he was at, uh, he was a homeless guy, uh, Chihuahua. Oh, okay. And so, Chihuahua was his, um, so, you know, he, in his uh, RV, you know, only had space for him. Oh. But uh, he would uh, pretty much roam around the, the whole field. Yeah. Uh, and then during the daytime, you know, they played together. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So I took him from his best friend. <laughs> So I think he has a, a long leash for uh, Oh, okay, okay. That's why I bring him over there. Just, uh, I, see. I see. I thought maybe it was like a another thing on his list. Why he's upset with you. The whole like the treat thing. Uh, probably. Yeah, the treat <laughs> thing. Taking him from his friend. Yeah. And what else? The, uh, the kennel thing. The trick yeah. with the kennel. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh! No, I wouldn't say that. He's just—he has trust issues. When it comes to relationships, he has trust issues. Yeah. That's what's going on. Buy him gifts, you know. Bring him, you know, home flowers. And, <laughs> yeah, he just spits in them. Yeah. But he wants to be wherever you are, though, right? Only if it's out. So as soon as he sees me going out for somewhere, like if I like, need to pick up like groceries or whatever, yeah, he'll like you know run to the gate and he'll want to go too. Okay. Um, so anytime we're out leaving outside the house, yeah, he'll be happy. Oh. And that's the only time he'll be like super excited. Oh. Uh, yeah. So you know, every so often, you know, I'll try to bring him for a hike. Uh, okay. Something, something that he might enjoy. So he just wants to roam. That's what he wants to do. Right, right. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see.
So the thing is, even though he wants to go out to new places, yeah. After a while, he wants to go back home. Hmm. He he longs. He's he's begging to go home actually. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's like you know, he wants to leave house the the, the house. Yeah. But then once he leaves, it, it's like oh, it's uh, something you know not safe. So you know, home he feels safe. Oh, I see. And so. Uh, yeah, a lot of times I bring do you think he Do you think he wants to go home because maybe he didn't have a home before? Uh, so I bring him to my friend's house. Yeah. And then, you know, I'll bring him, um, you know, I have dinner at my friend's house and then, um, you know, in the middle of the dinner, he'll start whining and he'll, you know, be waiting at the front door. Oh, wow. Hey, what the? Ugh. Sorry about that. So I don't even know if I captured that, but Bodhi decided he wanted to snatch this off the fence, this flyer right here. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. So he'll he'll be waiting at the front door, and then as soon as I you know go anywhere near the front door, he'll be just, you know searching it, getting excited, whatever. And then on the car ride home, he's just nonstop barking, whining. And then once we get home, he'll just run straight to the gate, and then he'll you know once we get inside, he'll just lay down. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I've never you know what? I've never heard of anything like that. Wow. Yeah. So it's hard to it's hard to bring them to new places. Okay. Uh, I mean, if it's just me and him, if it's like a hike, I'll be fine. Okay. But if I bring them to like a some kind of co convention, like a, was it Wiggle Waggle, or whatever, okay. Pasadena. Yeah. Um, he'll probably freak out. He'll you know want to. So initially, you know, leaving the house, he'll start you know getting excited. He'll be yeah. you know jumping inside the the car in the back seat, whatever. Right. I can tell he's excited to go there. And then once we get there. You know, he sees all the excitement, and then, you know, he the Wow, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of times I waste my gas, because, you know, I go... Oh, no! Yeah, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> wow. So, so, yeah. It's, uh, that's my dog, I'm not sure. Hmm. So, have you... Have you read up on, like, a possible solution? I think he's just, uh, he's st stuck on a schedule. Okay. So if I try to bring him to another dog park, he acts the same way. He'll want to leave within like five minutes of me keep going there. So that's why originally he didn't like to park here. Okay. Uh, it was part of his schedule. So I was going yeah. to the San Dimas park. Right, right. Um, so since I stopped going to the San Dimas park, and then uh, I guess he wanted to play with other dogs. Yeah. Uh, I guess he got used to coming here on a schedule, and so that's why he actually is coming here now. Okay. So I try bringing them to Pasadena, uh, Alice, um, dog park, or whatever. Uh -huh. And uh, same thing, within five minutes, wouldn't play with dogs, and we just, you know, hover around the front gate. Uh -huh. So I just have to bring them out, you know, bring them back home. So, yeah, so he's, he's more, uh, he likes to go to familiar places. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I think if I bring them to somewhere new, he feels like maybe like I'm like, leaving them or dropping off somewhere. Wow. Uh, so that's why, yeah, he'll, he'll wow. mainly want to go back home because he feels, you know, safe. Right, right. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really think of a solution for that. Yeah. Maybe it's something that takes time for him to overcome that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I want to bring him up to, you know, the mountains, bring him to snow. Yeah. But I'm not sure how, you know, how he's going to react to staying, you know. Most likely I'm going to be, you know, staying overnight. Do oh, that. so I don't know how he's gonna react to. Same I see. Same wow. Has he spent the night at your parents' house or what? Uh, he has, he hasn't spent a night anywhere. Oh, I see. Him. And he ha and he actually for the past two years I've never left him alone. I see. Uh, I see. So I've I've uh, unfortunately haven't been able to go on any vacations because of him. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? I've never I've never left Bodhi alone. Yeah. I've taken him everywhere I go. I've taken him. So, so yeah. I went out of state. I took him with me. So. I think part of it is there. I guess there's two reasons behind it. Is I kind of don't trust someone else to give him the care. And then also, I'm thinking, okay, like he's gonna miss me like a lot. Like, there's, just, there's just like no getting around that. And I don't want him to like become depressed. So I just try to take them everywhere. Yeah. So, 
So yeah, so uh, like when when I traveled to Colorado, he was he was with, with me the entire time. So. <laughs> There's days where uh, you know, I go out with friends, you know, for dinner or whatever. Right. Come home late at night, like two o'clock in the morning. And yeah. He acts a little weird. Oh wow. So yeah, to to fix that, I actually have to walk him late at night too. Okay. So I have to bring him over to the park. Uh, custom, oh. A customer where I live. Oh, right, right. Uh, so you know, at that time, you know, I'm tired. You know, sometimes I have a couple of drinks with me. Like, yeah. Like, you know, get yeah. in bed, whatever. But yeah. he'll be he'll be acting weird where I need to to walk him. I see. So, yeah, it is, uh... so I've I've heard that a good way, like if you're gonna go and you're gonna be gone for for a while, I'm just talking about you know like five hours or whatever it is, yeah. and you know how he gets like anxious or whatever. Just like before you do that, like very vigorous exercise, oh, yeah, like yeah. two hours worth. Oh, yeah, I bring him here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I bring him to the field. And, you know, gets the I around. I see. And... Hey, no, no, no. Yeah. Wow. But it's just the fact that I've been on time for so long, I think he feels that. So I, I, yeah. so I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, when the weather gets like cool like this, I mean, today is kind of warm, but like we're talking about like fall and winter. Like when I go to like the grocery store or a store or whatever, I actually take them with me. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I don't take them. I haven't taken them inside, but I just, you know, I leave them, leave them in the car. You know, we're talking like it has, like the temperature, the outside temperature has to be like less than 75 degrees and then also almost all the time the sun has already gone down so we're talking about like the night time so i'm making sure you know that's nice and cool you know when i when i take them with me so but yeah i take them i take them with me as many places you know as i can but i don't know i'm thinking about maybe one time taking them into you know a store? I don't know about a grocery store, but well, I mean, I see people do it all the time. Right, but do they have do they have like the uh, vest on them or something? I think they're just supposed to, but I mean, hey, like, no, dog is not like peeing. Like, right, I right, right. Target, do it. I see because he's like he's kind of yeah. I heard that you can in, in Target and they allow that, right? Yeah, That's I mean, I, heard. I mean, yeah, as long as they're not destroying anything, the workers they're not gonna you know, right, or anything like that. right. Because I, I know like in the grocery stores, like when people walk in with like a Pomeranian and it's in their arms or a Chihuahua, like nobody cares. Even if they have like a policy of no dogs, they don't care. But if you go in like with a big dog, you know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've seen someone bring, bring a, a, I think it was like a Husky Wolf mix. It was pretty big. Wow. It brought up to a Home Depot. Oh, cool. But it was the friendliest dog, you know, just sat yeah. there, everyone went up, it's like, oh, can I pet him? And yeah. he's like, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it was uh, the attraction of uh, home people. But, uh, I see. It was, that, that dog was pretty huge. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, would, I would never bring him <laughs> to Oh, home okay. Depot. Into Home Depot? Or any kind of store. Really? Yeah, I don't think I could. Oh, why? What do I you mean, think is going to happen? Probably like be sniffing around. Um, oh, okay. He might get freaked out with all the people. Oh, really? I mean, he's not going to bark or anything. Yeah. He's not going to pure food, but uh, yeah. yeah. I think he's just going to. Yeah, he'll probably be more anxious. I see. Wow. Let's go, Bodie. This way. No, no. Bodie, come. Come on. Oh, I lost my my notes. Okay. Bodhi, come on this way. Let's go. Up. Bodhi, up. Good boy. Go ahead. Sit. Shh. Sit. No. 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 Stay. Okay, so uh, Bodhi and I, we really thank you for watching. Uh, I don't think there's too much action today. Yeah, Bodhi was a bit disturbed. Um, yeah, the gophers and then... Uh, Nanny dog, I'm sure you saw. Uh, yeah, so that kind of keeps them from playing. But we really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you can, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, also, we want to uh, thank everyone who watches the ads that help support Bodhi, and we appreciate it so much. And also, uh, a big thank you to everyone who has pressed the thanks button. 
and has donated to Bodhi. We truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And also a big, big thank you to everyone who, uh, who has watched and played uh, Bodhi's playlist. That is a tremendous help. We, we truly thank you for that. And uh, let's see here. Also, if you leave a question or comment and make it kind of short, we will try to include it in a future video. And we want to read off a few names of people who watched previous videos and left comments. Cheryl B, really appreciate you watching so many of Bodhi's videos and leaving comments. Terry Gentile, Diane, Anna G, really appreciate uh, both of you. Hey, no, sit, sit. Anna G and Diane, you guys watch so many videos. And Diane, you always leave uh, super nice, super kind comments, and we truly appreciate you. Hope, hopefully uh, you and uh, Marshall are doing well. Lorna McKenzie, appreciate you all the time leaving really, really nice comments. Uh, Clayton John, Gary Tui, really appreciate you watching so many of uh, Bodhi's videos and also your generosity, appreciate you so much. Lori Love, appreciate you also uh, watching so many of the, Bodhi's videos. Your name always comes up in the comments and we truly appreciate you. Sarah B, appreciate you also, thank you. And Top Cat, and uh, Sabine Farber, really appreciate you, uh, both you and Top Cat. Uh, you guys are so nice, always saying really nice comments. Hey, no, sit, sit. Shh. Yeah, the uh, really nice comments that all of you leave are just uh, so inspiring to help us keep going. So yeah, so we truly appreciate all of you and we hope to see you on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Everyone, take care.